So that's where this poem has come from. It's called Flat Planet. Bullets flying to kill from guns made of bullets flying straight through mirrors as if there were no such thing as reflections. Bullets flying to prove that guns are righteous. It seems that justice is anything too fast for logic, too fast for a gun to realize that it is made of the same thing it shoots. Steel hearts, steel fangs, all bared till there's nothing decent anymore. All is ugliness. And you know you feel ugly when you are too ugly to forgive, too ugly to forgive yourself. What is war but forgetful people? People forgetting what people are. People are not tanks. People are not shields. Our skin isn't metal. We are not steel. We are flesh. We are folds of fat, bones that crumble, ideas that fade, philosophies that evolve and grow. We are outlooks. And we are anything but monolithic, anything but capable of surviving eyes that can only see one action, one reason, one intention. Such blind eyes are firearms. I look into such faces and I can see black tentacles slither out from under the eyelids, grip the eyes and pull them back, leaving blackness that sucks the light out of the room and pulls at my many dimensions, flattens my entire psyche into a thin notebook which is then read the way only an illiterate person can. The black eyes stare with vacuums so potent that the fictional notebook of their fiction and me becomes so close that I begin to believe that this judgment has some semblance of sense in it. What if I am not a person? What if I am not of flesh? What if I am steel? What if I should have my back to the wall and close my eyes and brace for bullets while ha my having my hands tied behind my back? Maybe I, maybe I deserve this. Maybe I have sinned so many times before now that if I, and sometimes I wonder if I look in that notebook, I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid to look because if I look, I know that I will judge myself and I will exact this judgment upon myself, this justice upon myself, and I will hurt myself. But I place my fingers on the book and I open it gingerly. And inside it, to my surprise, were only pictures of black, as if the camera had the lens cap on all the time. I placed the notebook back on the ground, took a step back, and stepped backwards into the supersonic spherical starship of my being, turned on the warp drive and wormholed myself out of there. This wasn't the first time that I had landed on a flat black planet. <laughs>